Konnichiwa, beautiful people. Chef Elisa with Semper Pot Pie. And I just wanted to do a quick video on how all of this works. That is one of the most common questions that we get is how does this work? So instead of answering interview individually, I'm going to do a quick video. So number one, you need to check with your service member what base they are on. Now, this may sound very simple, but a lot of people don't necessarily know. The first thing I need you to do is I need you to contact your service member and I need to ask you to ask them, what base are you on? We deliver to Kinzer, Futema, Foster, Shields, Courtney, Hansen, and Schwab. You need to make sure, number one, that your service member is on Okinawa. Number two, you need to make sure that they are on either Kinzer, Fatema, Foster, Shields, Courtney, Hansen, or Schwab, okay? So those are the first two things you need to do. Number three, you need to make sure that your service member is available on the night and the time that we deliver. If your service member is on Kinzer, Fatema, Foster, or Shields, they need to be available between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. on Monday nights. If your service member is on Courtney, they need to be available on Tuesday nights between 4.30 and 5, 5.30, okay? If your service member is on Hanson, they need to be available between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Tuesday nights. If your service member is on Schwab, they need to be available on Wednesday nights between 5 and 6 p.m. If your service member is not available during those times, this will not be a good fit. I'm not trying to be mean, this is simple facts. This is when we are there, this is when we deliver. If they cannot make it, then this will not be a good fit. For Kinzer, we deliver either to PMO parking lot or the exchange parking lot. For Fatema, we deliver at the exchange parking lot. For Foster, we deliver to the spot. For Shields, we deliver to the barracks 7150. For Courtney, we deliver to the PMO parking lot. For Hansen, we deliver to the exchange parking lot. And for Schwab, we deliver to the USO parking lot. Those are the places that we deliver. That is where your service member needs to be. Please, again, make sure that they can get to those locations during those days and times. You need to make sure that your service member is on a base that we, de we deliver to, is available during the days and times that we deliver, and can get to the delivery location during those days and times. So if all of that is good, then you will message Tiffany Orner, she's in the Facebook group. If you do not have her information, let me know and I can get it to you. And she is going to let you know what is available for what week. She will send you the link. Once you get to that link, it's very, very self-explanatory. I'm gonna do a quick run through on how to do the, the order right here. Link. This is likely the link she sent you. So this right here is an image. You're just gonna click on that image anywhere and it's gonna take you to our stand store. We are not a food-based business. We are not allowed to have a food-based business in Okinawa on base housing. So we have a YouTube channel, we have a blog, and you are helping support those. And if you help support us, we will donate the meals that we are practicing our recipes on to your service member of choice. So if you do not have a service member of choice or you simply wanna spread the love around, we have what's called Semper Eats. This is something that Miss Tiffany keeps track of. This meal goes to somebody who really needs it. Maybe they don't have family, maybe their family doesn't know about us, maybe their family doesn't have the money. These are donated meals that we can give to anyone who needs it. If you do have somebody in mind, you can do a one-time meal. This one is just a one-time support of our channel. You will pay the one-time fee. Your service member will get one meal. 
So we always have the menu right here where you can see. You do need to enter your full name and your email, please. Put your phone number, please. Your service member's phone name and phone location and phone number. And right here, you'll see what we have available. If it's not av if it's not listed here, then it has sold out or the date has passed. If you want a message handwritten and included in your service member's meal, you're gonna write it right here, okay? Now, right here, you are going to do these. You have to click yes to these or you cannot order. I understand that a courtesy message will be sent out on signal only the day before delivery in a group message. My service member will need to accept the group invite on signal to be updated on delivery. You have to say that yes, you understand that. I understand it is my service member's responsibility to be on time. I also understand that if my service member is not there within 15 minutes of the delivery driver's arrival, their meal will not will be donated and no refund will be given. Again, you have to understand, say that. These terms and conditions say very similar to what it just said there, but nobody was reading it. They were just clicking, I understand, so I put them clearly here, okay? Now, down here, you're going to obviously do your payment information and you're gonna hit support your channel. This is what the confirmation email is going to look like. Thank you so much for your purchase of Semper Pot Pie. Please have your service member message me at plus one, two zero six, five three two, nine zero two nine with their location on signal to establish communication ahead of time. Now, that's all they have to say. All they have to say is, this is Smith, I'm on Courtney. That's it, that's all they have to say. And I will reply back, GTG, which means good to go, and I will say, I will send out a message the day before delivery. Once we've established that communication on Signal, then I can add them to the group messages. And then here again, it reiterates, then I give a broad, time window that they need to be available. I explain signal again. I explain that it's in a group text. I explain that Japanese holidays are very different and traffic is very unpredictable. I also explain that we'll wait 15 minutes. I also explain that we will do pictures and please allow 24 hours. I give a link for the Facebook group in case you're not on there. This is the welcome letter you should have gotten and if you did not get it, please let me know. Now, if you do not know what Signal is, Signal is a free messaging app similar to WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger that your service member needs to download in order to get updates for delivery. We chose Signal specifically because the majority of the service members here in Okinawa already have this app. If your service member does not have Signal and they choose not to download Signal, that is their choice. However, they will not receive updates for delivery. The day before delivery, I will send out a group text to the group. Happy Sunday. Tomorrow, April 22nd, I will be at the exchange on Kinzer in the parking lot between 5 and 5.30 p.m. And then I will say, please remember, we can only wait 15 minutes. If you do not arrive within 15 minutes, we will donate your meal to another service member. Thank you for understanding. Have a great day. It's very straightforward. That's it. That is the message I sent. 99.99% of the time, I might get a thumbs up. I might get nothing. And that's okay. They don't have to respond to that message. That is not something that I need from them. Tomorrow. When I leave Courtney, I will message the Kinzer group and I will say, I am leaving Courtney. The, G the GPS says I will be there at 1702, whatever the GPS says. And I will sh send a screenshot of the GPS. When I arrive, I will say here, and that begins our 15 minute clock. If nobody is there, if they don't communicate with me, if they don't show up within that 15 minutes, I pack up, I send out a message. Thanks everyone, have a great night. See you guys next time. And then I will put this little caveat on there. I will say, 
Just a reminder, if you do not want your pictures used in our social media, please send me a message. If they do not send me a message, I take that as their consent to use their picture. I never share their videos. The videos are between you and them, and that is it. I never share the videos. However, the pictures we put in our private Facebook group, we might do a montage on, on Instagram every once in a while, something like that. But I always send that message out. Let's say I'm on my way and there is an accident and all of a sudden I'm gonna be late now. I send a message to that group and I say, there's an accident, the new ETA is this. And I keep them updated. Why is the disconnect? What happens? Why does your service member not show up? 99.9999% of the time, they see the message and they think, great, I have 45 minutes, however long it is, before she's gonna be here. I know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a nap. I'm telling you, this is what happens. So they lay down to take a nap because why? The military trains them to do that. You have 20 minutes, lay down and take a nap, <laughs> okay? They lay down to take a nap and what happens? They forget. They forget that they were supposed to be picking it up. And that's why they don't show up. They sleep through it. So now, after I'm done with all of the delivery, I come home, I make dinner for my family, I eat dinner with my family, I try to spend some time with them. Usually around 9 p.m. my time, I sit down and I go through all of the pictures and the videos and I send them out to each individual. I send out the pictures and the videos. Sometimes that is not possible. So I do say in my email, please allow 48 hours for those pictures. It has never taken me 48 hours. It will usually be the night of, but just in case, please, please be patient. Now, after I send out all of the pictures to every individual person, I do one Facebook group of just the pictures of the delivery. If for some reason you didn't hear from me and your child's picture is not in the Facebook group and they were supposed to get a delivery, just shoot me or Tiffany a message and be like, hey, what's going on? Because even if they didn't show up, I will still send you a message and say they didn't show up or they texted me and they're not available or I'll, I'll give you some kind of explanation as to why they didn't get their meal. If your picture is in that Facebook group and I didn't send it to you, again, please message me and be like, hey, I didn't get my picture, but it's in the Facebook group, like, just communication, that's, that's all I'm asking. Again, if your kid can't make it to the delivery, if they can't make it to the delivery and they know that ahead of time, all they have to do is message me. All they have to do is say, hey, I'm not gonna be here. Can we do it another day? Guess what? I do that. So long as I haven't made the meal, we can absolutely do that. If they send me a message within an hour or two of delivery, I'm sorry, that's too late. We're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to donate the meal because guess what? I'm already in the middle of making it. I'm wrapping up. That is not enough time for me to just be like, oh, okay, I won't make it. Like that, it's too late at that point. If for some reason the phone number has changed for your service member, I need 24 hours notice. But if you message me an hour before delivery saying that my service member's phone number changed, I might not see it. The best way, if they have a new phone number and they're, have them message me. Have them message me directly on Signal and say, hey, this is my new number. That's probably the best bet. After all of that, if you still have questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me or to Tiffany. We can almost always answer your questions. And I hope everyone has a great night and we will hopefully see your kiddos pictures in the future. Bye.